Tom, thanks for talking to us. Do you think the game has changed much since the days of high stakes poker? Well, yeah, they took the two, three, four, and five out of the deck, so you know you can't play the same poker game. Yeah, I think ten years ago I was playing a lot more online, so it was a different situation, um, and I was playing with the same or similar people uh, a lot of days in a row. And now it's more common to see new faces all the time. Um, also, back then I used to play tournaments, and actually in those tournaments you would see new faces all the time. Now the only time I play tournaments, it's all the same people, actually. Even though the cash games, it's all different people all the time. But so yeah, it's, it's changed. And do you think you've changed much as a person over the last decade? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have in 10 years, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think a lot of parts are pretty similar, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm older, a bit wiser, I hope. I know I don't bounce back as easy when I, I turn my ankle a little bit ago. It's, it's not like 10 years ago, I would just Bounce right back now, it actually hurts for a day or two. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I've changed some, you know. And you're a well-traveled man. Where have you enjoyed playing the most? My favorite place that I've ever played poker was in the Maldives. Now that was nice, but it happened once, I think. And it was on, I played online for Maldives. Um, you know, I like playing in Vegas, but uh, the games aren't short deck, unfortunately. I would say London's London's probably my favorite place. Montenegro's real nice, actually. Montenegro's up there. Because, at least in the summer. In the winter, maybe it wouldn't be. But in the summer, it's real nice. Because it's just, you walk outside and it's so nice there. So even if you lose or something, you're like, oh, at least I got a nice view. How much of your time do you spend in Asia these days? Well, I could say going forward, I think I'll probably be playing a lot the next few months. And what about these Triton events? How much do you enjoy coming to these? Depends if I win. This one I haven't enjoyed. I haven't won anything. I've been losing every day. Um, usually I like them, but, but I've never won the tournaments. I think maybe I've just done good in the cash games during them. But, uh, yeah, but this time it's been brutal. I lost like five bullets in this tournament. Lost the first tournament. The first tournament I got to play for about five minutes. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully my luck changes. You always seem like the same guy and quite cool whether you're winning or losing, but how much do the losses hurt and the wins, how much do they bring you joy? You know, it's, it's better to win than it is to lose. Um, I don't know, I try to, you know, be cool about it. Some days you win, some days you lose. Have you noticed that the level of play with the Asian players improves every time you come over here? Um, I feel that most people I play against are trying to learn from me and I'm trying to learn from them. I don't know if there's a difference Asian players or not. Uh, but I mean, I've been playing in Asia a lot for the last few years. So I guess maybe I haven't had a lot of big breaks where I, I had one break recently where I didn't play as much for a few months and I came back and was like, oh, damn, everyone got a lot better. So when you're playing in Asia, do you give much advice to your opponents? Uh, not usually. I mean, that's not, I didn't sign up for that. I wouldn't imagine you did. I just thought, you know, you're the best in the world. They, they, they probably want to squeeze as much as they can out of you. If I'm friendly with people, I'll give them some tips. But I, the other thing is, even if I try to give people tips, I'm really not, you know, I can play some pretty good poker sometimes, but uh, I'm not a very good coach. I'm not good at, like, telling, you know, sometimes I'll find things people do wrong, but I'm not, it's just not one of my strengths is telling people how to fix things or do stuff better or whatever. Um, I don't know. Tom, are you even aware that the poker world seems to be obsessed with your every movement? What you've been up to? Is it weird? I didn't know the poker world was obsessed with where I am. I'd say they were. I, and from my experience, I mean, the spotlight's on you. I think you're probably the most Googled guy. And, and I just wonder how that sits with you. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know, man. I don't know. I didn't know that was the case. So uh, I don't know. I'll stop Googling you. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, if you could go back in time and give your younger self some advice, what would you say? Yeah, I would say learn Chinese. Do it while you're young, because I, no matter how hard I try, I'm just not good at language, and uh, I wish I knew more of it. So have you been making an effort to learn Chinese? Uh, if I've been making an effort, it's a pathetic one, but yeah, I mean, I'll try to, I'll try to occasionally say how do you say this word how do you say that word stuff like that but uh i've never really buckled down and tried to learn it and what's the longest time you've actually spent away from the game 
I'm not exactly sure, but a few months here and there when I've had uh, like some stress come up in my life in other ways. Are you still in love with the game? Um, I don't know if I've ever really been in love with the game. Uh, I think if I don't play for a while and I start playing, then yeah, I enjoy it. And if I'm playing every day, pulling 20, 30 hour long uh, sessions, then yeah, obviously I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna be playing poker. I wanna be going for a walk or whatever. But usually if I'm playing that often, it means the games are quite good, so. And what do you feel about the short deck uh, version of the game? Yeah, I like it. Um, I think it's more, more action. I think it's more fun overall and it's like a less uh, predatory environment. I think a lot of times full deck, you know, 10 years ago this was different, but the last few years it, it got to a point where it was quite predatory and a lot of the businessman or fish that would lose, uh, I think didn't leave with a good taste in their mouths a lot of the time. Um, you know, and that's just, that's unfortunate. Like obviously, look, if I'm there, I still want the money, mm -hmm. right? But if, if you can come up with a, a game that everyone has a better time, win or lose, I think that's a good thing. And I think that's what short deck is. And I think that's a large part of the reason there's so much money in it. Because even when people lose, they don't feel like they're a complete idiot or something. They're like, okay, well, maybe I got a little outplay, got a little unlucky, whatever. It's just feels like a, more of a fair battle, you know? So do you feel you have the edge yet in short deck like you've always had in Hold'em? What do you mean? I mean, do you feel you are now one of the best in the world at short deck? Yeah, I was learning short deck like three years before everyone else, so I had that one handled for a while. <laughs> no, my problem is other people are starting to learn it now. There's actually a number of the people are getting quite good, so. Uh, so is there almost a time limit now while all the Western players are learning, you know, the top Western pros are learning the short deck fast and slowly hopping across. Is there a time limit to make as much money as you can? I mean, I think that already happened. The games a year or two ago were much different to the games now. Now people have an idea how to play and what to do. Um, back before anyone knew what it was, I, I played some games where people really... Uh, didn't make the best choices with their, with their two cards and their short deck. Can you see a day where you'll retire from poker? Someday I'd like to have poker not be my main focus. But, uh, you know, I think I'll still be playing some of the time, um, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, but yeah, pulling a bunch of 30-hour sessions in a row, yeah, I'd like to have that be a much less common thing. At, at some point in the future. Working on it.